Hello, it is I, once again, the Bruce Wayne of Azure Lane, back at it again with another Azure Lane video. OG investigator who has moved from doing a gear tier list for destroyers, moving on up to light cruisers, which is my favorite class. And if you want to see my uh, list right here that I've made for this class, it's right here, but I'll go straight up to the main gun. And without further ado, if you go up to the main guns, um, what you will find very, very quickly is that the quadruple 152 millimeter is the best at almost everything except light armor. So I would just say this, here's the trick to the light cruiser guns. The triple 152 American light cruiser gun has in general a better spread and most in most cases i would say better general performance except for two crucial areas it doesn't do as much damage to medium armor or heavy armor and it does not provide the astounding firepower stat of 65 firepower points that's a lot of firepower points so as my graph shows um, in most cases, the quadruple rainbow light cruiser gun is actually the best choice. But when I've actually tried both of these guns in tests, I've found that the difference between them is very low. The light, the rainbow light cruiser gun does perform better, but the American triple 152 millimeter performs pretty close. So I would say, here's the thing. If you have the rainbow gun, use it. If you don't have it, use the American triple 152 millimeter. Now, moving on to the best medium armor is actually the German gun. And the reason it's the German gun is, is because when you go to the light cruiser gun section, um, what you'll notice right here is if I switch it to medium armor, um, yes, technically the rainbow light cruiser gun and the American gun do outperform the German gun, but the German gun has by far the lowest spread. And in actual practice, when you use these guns on medium armor, like say a medium armor boss, especially the German gun does slightly more damage. It's DPS is close to the other two, but it gets more rounds on target. And that means it will actually do more damage. So, like my graph points out, if you're fighting a medium armor boss, use the German gun. However, if you're going to light armor, the Japanese gun is the uncontested champ. So if I go here to light armor, the Japanese gun does the most damage to light armor and although its spread is at like 18 degrees um, so is the rainbow gun so it actually does do more damage to light armor bosses specifically it's very effective on light armor but if you need any gun for any other purpose use the rainbow gun having said that I will say this, in general, in most cases, you just use the rainbow gun. If you get the rainbow gun, this is the best gun out of all the guns. And in most cases, it is the best gun. So the rainbow quad 152 millimeter takes the top choice. Now, if you go down to auxiliary guns, um, these are guns you would add because for two specific reasons, they add firepower or they add anti-air stat. Because auxiliary guns on most light cruisers are actually very poor because they have very low gun efficiency. So you would want them more for the actual stats they deliver than you would want them for their actual performance. So when you get down to it, um, I will say this, as always, the French baguette gun 
is one of the best auxiliary guns you could have because it does the most damage on heavy armor, but it does good damage to the other armor types as well. So if you have the French baguette gun, that is one of the best choices you could have for an auxiliary gun. However, if you do are if you're if you are fighting medium and light armor, the Chinese gun performs the best in overall performance. So if you go to the Chinese gun, I've set it to medium armor, and the pasta gun does outperform every other gun at medium armor. But if you go down here to the Chinese gun, it gives you 35 firepower and 10 anti-air stat, which is like the best you could hope for in terms of an auxiliary gun. So very good surface damage, very good anti-air stat, and in terms of actual damage it provides, it does very good damage on medium armor, it does very good damage on heavy armor. And um, I would not say that using a good gun on your auxiliary focused light cruiser against heavy armor is a good strategy. In fact, in most cases, you would just use it to get through a lot of the like little ships you would need to kill before you get to a boss. So in most cases, um, if you're looking for a good auxiliary gun, I would say the Chinese gun is probably the best choice. However, the German gun and the French baguette gun are also excellent choices, but the English uh, 114 millimeter gun right here is also a very good choice because it has a very high fire rate. So if you're on a map with a bunch of enemies, um, this gun will fire very fast and it will distribute damage very good. So um, you'll kill light armor in particular very well and medium armor very well with this gun but as an auxiliary gun it provides you a very good firepower stat and very high anti-air stat so i would say this gun is ideal if you're going into a map with anti-air as a focus so that is a good gun but the other guns are more preferable for most circumstances but just keep that in mind now if you get to the best auxiliary torpedo on a light cruiser what you'll find is that in most cases it actually has the same thing in common with destroyers so i've tested both of these guns the gold quad and the rainbow quintuple and like i have said for the destroyer video in most cases the gold quad performs better because you are more likely to get every single torpedo to hit and it fires faster but the Rainbow Quintuple has a very, very high torp stat it brings, and it's better in PvP specifically. So I will say this, if you're doing PvP, the Rainbow Quintuple is better, but if for all other content, the Gold Quad is probably the better choice you'll get. But if you're doing manual, uh, the this like this torpedo right here is hands down the best choice and that's because it fires all the torpedoes in a straight line so uh, the 533 millimeter quintuple by far is the best choice for manual because if you're good enough and you get your aim right you can hit every single torpedo on an enemy especially an enemy boss which that means a lot in Azure Lane if you noticed however if you're looking at the other torpedoes on this list, the Shimakaze torpedo does the most total damage, and that's very good. But you're unlikely to get every single torpedo to hit. It's just it does the most damage in terms of raw stats, as you can see up here. And then for the other two torpedoes, the uh, quad 610 millimeter, this really is just the best case if you don't have the Shimakaze torpedo, but it's accessible in the gear lab and it's very easy to use. So I would say the quad 610 millimeter is good and the American torpedoes, like I said before on the destroyer video, they fire faster, but they deal less damage. So 
depending on what kind of light cruiser you are using, if it is a torpedo focused light cruiser or a main gun focused light cruiser, you will have to make that decision for yourself. But overall, um, these torpedoes are hands down the best choices. Now, if you get to anti-air gun, here's the trick about light cruisers. Almost all of them have very, very high anti-air stats. And they're very good at killing enemy aircraft, which is their main gimmick across the board. So, in general, the rainbow gun is absolutely by far the best choice. So, if you go here to the wiki, you'll find that the rainbow gun has the highest DPS and a very high reload and a very high anti-air stat, which is good for your survivability because... Your anti-air stat affects how much damage enemy aircraft do to you. But primarily, if, you, you're, if you're using light cruisers, you want to focus on DPS. So the Rainbow Gun is the hands down the best choice. But if you get to the Sextuple 44, or 40, not 44, 40 millimeter Bofors, this is also an excellent choice. And... Per tick, it actually has the highest damage. I mean, not the highest reload by any means, but it's got considerably high damage. So um, this is a good choice if you don't have the rainbow gun. On the other hand, if you're looking to max out the range of your light cruiser's anti-air, on that case, the 113 millimeter gun this gun right here is the best gun for maxing out the range. It provides a decent anti-air stat at 45, but um, it has the highest range at 35. So if you're looking to max out the range, like let's say your Vanguard is just the king of anti-air and you're just looking to increase the range of your anti-air, this gun is the most preferable. Moving on, if you are looking to raise the damage of your light cruiser, this is where you're, you are going to have to look at the specific stat of your light cruiser's accuracy. So if you have a light cruiser that has high accuracy, you would do better off using this gun right here because it raises the firepower stat of your accuracy. It gives you a 15 increase in firepower. So if you have high accuracy, that's great. However, if your light cruiser has a lower accuracy, you will want to use the Stag 40 millimeter. And I say that because if you go up here to the Stag 40 millimeter, um, not only does it give you a 10 point increase in accuracy, it give, it's also gives you a very high uh, reload. So whatever uh, your reload is for your Vanguard, the more ships that have high reload guns, the faster your Vanguard's anti-air gun fires. And this is very good for light cruisers that have a low accuracy stat because it actually will raise their damage considerably while boosting the anti-air of your whole Vanguard. So like I said, you'll have to look at the accuracy stat of your light cruiser for deciding on either one of these guns if you want to increase the surface damage. But in most cases, if your Vanguard accuracy is low you want the firepower increase if your accuracy is high or no if your accuracy is low you want the accuracy increase but if your accuracy is high you want the firepower increase so keep that in mind now going on to auxiliary gear for most cases light cruisers have the best skills in the game bar none so the best way to use a light cruiser with excellent skills is to raise their survivability as high as you possibly can. And the best way to do that for light cruisers, which have typically okay evasion and okay health, you want to dramatically increase their evasion with the hydraulic rudder, which is this thing right here. This is the best and most top-notch gear for raising the survivability of a light cruiser. However, if your light cruiser needs even further survivability after adding this, you want the repair toolkit. 
The repair toolkit is top notch for Vanguard survivability. Highly, highly recommended. Now, let's say you're doing a mission where you need mission specific gear like anti sub, or you're doing the main campaign where you're fighting specifically soccer empire ships. In that case, you will want a mission specific gear in the second slot instead of the repair toolkit. But the hydraulic steering rudder is the top priority for your first auxiliary slot. But all these other gears, like let's say um, if you are using a gun or a main gun focused light cruiser, you would want the Intel Report Arctic Stronghold, which is very good for main gun focused light cruisers. It gives them a boost in firepower stat and a boost in health. And it reduces the damage they get from sirens by 6%. So this is ideal for firepower or main gun focused light cruisers. For torpedo focused light cruisers, you would want either the other Intel report, the expedition log, or you would want the pure oxygen torpedo, which admittedly is very bad for your survivability, but it will astoundingly increase the damage your torpedoes do. So keep that in mind. But as I have said before, with the light cruiser list, um, you want these two, the hydraulic steering rudder and the repair toolkit as top priority for survivability and anything else with a mission specific focus you would want in the second slot. Anyway, I will put this in my community tab, just as I did with the destroyer uh, tier list equipment that I put in the community tab for my last video. So if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And I would like to wish you all a farewell and following seas, my fellow Shikikans. Take it easy. Use your light cruisers very well.